Harrison, which one was the most difficult? <laughs> Probably the, the last one. It, it's always tough when you, know, you make a field goal, you're excited about it, and then it's a quick turnaround and you're up again. And I do have a routine I like to go through. So sometimes that's shorter than I would like it. And that last kick, you have to get ready uh, really fast. But also going that direction was pretty difficult. The other direction was a lot easier. So those last two were probably the hardest kicks. Have you ever outscored another team just by yourself? I don't know. I've had five field goals before. Six was the first time. Uh, but yeah, it might be the first time. Not even in college or high school or anything? College, we ran the triple option. So not a lot of field goals. Yeah. <laughs> We saw, you, uh, we saw you bang a couple of 60 yarders in warm-ups. Did it change uh, much when you tried that 50-plus uh, yard? We made a 63 in warm-up. I hit a 57 maybe off the crossbar in warm-up, and I didn't really swing that hard. So, well, for the 54-yarder, I knew I don't have to swing too hard and should be able to make it. Again, the wind was going in that direction. So as long as it was on target, it was going to have the distance. What goes into the middle of the physical approach of having to do more field goals than you're used to, normally used to? Going into any game, you know, I say, okay, there's going to be 10 possessions and there's going to be an extra point or field goal every possession. So I get my mind ready for a lot of kicks, whether, you know, you get that many kicks or not. But you just got to stay ready and stay locked in. I know it's easy or it's been easy for me in the past. You make a couple field goals and you just relax, you know, like, oh, I've had a good game. You know, I probably won't get any more. But I thought I did a good job this game, just staying locked in, focused uh, for any opportunity that came. Harrison, it looks a little bit for 13. Christmas Day. Did your confidence get shaken at all? And, and did you, I mean, how did it feel to get six today and kind of exercise those demons? Yeah, it, it, felt, it felt great. You know, you make 13 in a row and you feel on, on top of the world. You feel it like you're in a great rhythm and you, then you miss a makeable, easy kick in New England and then another uh, makeable kick. I'm sure you could see with my emotions that kick I missed last week against Vegas. You know, those are just gimme kicks uh, that unfortunately, you know, you missed. But I really pray for God's will to be done on, on every kick. So sometimes when those happen, just, all right, God, you wanted me to miss that for some reason. And then even today, especially those last two, I don't know how those went in, but they, but they did. And, uh, you know, I, I work very hard, but when you get to that opportunity, when you're in front of, you know, 80,000 fans, you're playing in front of a, a big national, international audience, you go out there and the kick happens in 1.3 seconds. It just happens so fast. And I'm, I'm grateful for the successes and also – grateful for the for the misses and the, and the losses but you know I'm just uh, you know thankful to be in this position and for the kicks to be going through it I mean to make six kicks you know it's just uh, amazing not me you know <laughs> God take care of it take us through the experience of that you had at Arrowhead City because I was watching during pregame up in the press box it looks like the wind's blowing the other way with the things and you're telling me you're kicking it better that direction how much time does it take you to get like the stadium and understand how it's going to I don't know if every stadium is like this, but normally whatever the direction, whatever direction the wind's blowing, uh, when you're inside the stadium, it's going to be the opposite. So if it's a north wind, then you know in the stadium it's probably going to be a, a south wind. So I, you know, I have a, an app that I can look at the wind just mainly to see how intense the wind is, how big are the gusts. But when you go out there, um, you know, you figure out the direction it's going. I really don't look at those flags that are on the top of the stadium. I just look at the flags that are uh, on the field goal post. But that Vegas game, it's tough because it's, it's wet, and the, f the f flags on top of the field goal post are stuck to the uprights, and it was like that for the Eagles game as well. Uh, so, I mean, it's a little difficult to read the wind when, when you don't have those flags uh, to look at. But the biggest thing I also look at with that wind app is if the wind's consistent the whole time because – if you're going to have a certain wind for warm-up, maybe north wind, and then it switches to an east wind during first half and then a west wind during second half, you definitely need to know that because, uh, you know, sometimes you're on the sideline for a whole quarter and a half and then you go out there and if the wind's different than what you expected, you don't really want to have those, uh, those emotions right before a kick. You want to know what your plan is going into it. Harrison, it's not every, it's, Harrison, it's not every game that uh, the coach and the guys celebrate the kicker in the locker room in the way that they did. Just what does it do for you knowing it is a team sport? It feels great. You know, I don't have, well, as a kicker, you're only given as many opportunities as the, the team provides, and hopefully you're ready for those. Uh, you know, James and Tommy have been doing a great job. We've been grinding in, in practice and throughout the season, and when we do have our numbers called, you know, we need to show up and, and do our job. And when you have six field goals, it's hard not to see, like, that was an important part uh, of the game and put points on the board. But it's a, you know, definitely a, a team effort with the great snaps, great holds, great blocking, and, uh, you know, God helping those footballs go through the uprights. Let's finish up with 
Yeah, it felt great. Um, you know, we've faced a lot of adversity, more losses this season than we have in the past. You know, I think it's probably the most losses we've had since maybe 2017 or so. And so in the past, we've been we've been rolling, winning a lot of games. But I think adversity is super important. I, I don't know if it was 2020. I felt like we didn't have a lot of you know adversity. Maybe not as much as like that 2019 team. But I just think it's very important to know how do we handle losing. How do we respond when we're when we're down? And obviously, as a kicker, I'm kind of just seeing it from the sidelines, seeing how the guys uh, compete in practice and attack the game. For me, I'm trying to be as as much as a robot as I can because my competition's the wind and you know the surface. It's not really my my competition, and I try not to have as many of those ups and downs. It's really those internal ups and downs. You know, I can control if I make or miss it based on technique or uh, my plan. But it's been it's been really cool to watch. The team come together. I mean, how they approach a week after a loss like last week, and um, obviously to to have a, whatever song they were playing at the end when all the guys were dancing on the sideline, and it was a long third or fourth down, whatever that it was, and all of Arrowhead was uh, screaming and yelling. That's just that's amazing. Those are memories you're always going to have. Those are the good memories that we are so accustomed to, and you can't ever take winning for for granted and getting a division win. Eight years in a row, seven years for for myself is amazing. When you have uh, milestone games like this, is uh, is there a memory back when you were at Westminster? They pull you off the soccer team, and was there a sign from God that told you that something like this could be in your future? You know, I I didn't start kicking like you said till the spring of my sophomore year. As a kicker, how many other kickers are at a school with you? You know, there might be one other kicker. Uh, so you don't really know like how good you are and even when you play another team they might only have one kicker it's just it's hard to gauge and um, I went to a kicking camp and that had hundreds of people and I got ranked really high but still even when you're ranked high you turn on the television you see D1 kickers and NFL kickers and they're hitting the ball super high and it looks perfect and you just think man I could I could never do that you know those guys are just in uh, another realm and even throughout college I never thought I'd be an NFL kicker it wasn't until my senior year I did decent, and I got an NFL Combine invite, which really surprised me. And uh, I did all right at the Combine. But I, I feel like I've always, I, I don't know if I sell myself short, but even now being in the NFL, I look at guys like uh, McPherson. I just think, wow, what a beautiful you know, ball that he can kick. And he's such a great kicker. And I watch around the league. There's just so many talented people. And like I was talking about God, so many times I go out there, I'm like, I should not be out here. I don't know how this ball is going through. I don't know how I'm making kicks. Um, but it's a blessing, and I normally get emotional. Normally, the national anthem, just to be on that stage, you know, who would have ever thought? I, I never thought I would be um, in that situation, but but God's got me there, and I'm enjoying it for for however long uh, he's, he's got me here. I know you don't pay a ton of attention to things like this, but you know, you, you go on six for six tonight. Um, two in Atlanta missed a couple of kicks today, so you were back to number two for the second most accurate field goal kicker of all time. That's exactly where you were before before the injury. Does it kind of feel like you're, you know, you know, full circle kind of now, and you, you kind of resumed everything that you, you were right before that? Yeah, I, I try not to focus on, you know, those stats that much, but it is a big stat, and that's probably how you gauge. Uh, how good kickers are, what is their career field goal percentage. Um, I didn't know who missed. I didn't know I'm, I'm second now. But I feel healthy. I feel back to my old self. I mean, last year was tough. You know, you feel like an old man. Like, you know, I'm only 27, and I'm out here just not feeling like myself at all. So it's great to kind of have a, have a year that I feel like reflects who I am as a kicker, you know, in my entirety. But when you play, you got to work through injuries, and everybody in their career has injuries. And I'm sure the, the greats that are in the Hall of Fame, those are athletes that know how to handle and, and move through injuries. We're all going to have them. So I thought I did a, a decent job last year, but it's nice to, to have a year that feels like you know the years I've had in the past. I'm just curious. Do you have a wind direction that you prefer and a wind direction that you really don't like in this stadium? It's not necessarily unique to this stadium, but um, I would say I have a, a hook on my ball. So a left to right wind is great. I think that straightens out the ball. And then obviously you want wind at your back and not wind uh, in your face. But as a punter, I think some punters would, would maybe say they like a slight wind in their face because it actually adds a little bit more hang time to their punts. But 
If I'm not indoors, I prefer uh, a wind at the back, and then if there's any directional wind, left to right. But you have some kickers that their miss is a slice, and you know they prefer a, a right to left wind and not a left to right wind. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Harrison. Happy New Year.